Everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 1 over 10, plus x to the power of 1 over 15, then plus x to the power of 1 over 30. This is equal to 84. So what is the value of x, given that x is a member of real numbers? So let's provide a solution from here. Now the first thing to do here, we can express x to the power of 1 over 10 as x to the power of 3 over 30, then plus x to the power of 1 over 15. This is the same thing as x to the power of 2 over 30, then plus x to the power of 1 over 30. This is equal to 84. Now, we can express x to the power of 3 over 30. This is the same thing as x to the power of 3 times 1 over 30, then plus x to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 over 30, then plus x to the power of 1 over 30. This is equal to 84. The next step is that x to the power of 3 times 1, 1 over 30, and x to the power of 2 times 1 over that, this is in the form of a to the power of n times m, which we can express as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have x, we have x to the power of 1 over 30 raised to the power of 3, then plus x to the power of 1 over, over 30 raised to the power of 2, then plus x to the power of 1 over 30. This is equal to 84. The next step is that x to the power of 1 over 30 is common here. So we can let x to the power of 1 over 30 be equal to u. Substituting u back to this equation, then we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2, then plus u, this is equal to 84. Now the next step is to take 84 on the left hand side, so that we have u to the power of 3, plus u to the power of 2, then plus u, subtract 84, this is equal to 0. The next step is that we have u to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2, plus u, subtract 84. 84 can be expressed as, this is the same thing as 64, plus 16, plus 4. This is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3, plus u to the power of 2, then plus u, subtract 64, which is 4 to the power of 3. Then minus times plus 16, this is minus 4 to the power of 2. Then minus 4, this is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 and 4 to the power of 3 here. So we can write this as a to the power of 3. u to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3. Then plus u to the power of 2 and 4 to the power of 2. So this is u to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2. Then now, plus here we have u subtract 4, this is equal to 0. So now we have three parts here. We have that this is the first part, which is actually the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. The second part here is the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. And we have the third part here. Now, now we have that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the same thing as a minus b. Then here we have a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared. Applying this identity, then here we have u minus 4. Then here we have u squared. We have plus 4u, then plus 4 squared, which is 16. Let's call this equation 1 here. Then we have u squared minus 4 squared. 
this is actually the difference of two perfect squares here, which you can express as u plus 4. And then we have u minus 4. So let's call this equation 2. Now we can write this as u minus 4 multiplied by u squared plus 4u plus 16 then plus here we have u plus 4 multiplied by u minus 4 then now plus here we have u subtract 4 this is equal to 0 so u minus 4 is common here so we can factor out u minus 4 so we have u minus 4 into the parentheses here we have u squared plus 4u plus 16 then plus we have u plus 4 then plus we have 1 here so we add 1 this is equal to 0 so this is u minus 4. Here we have u squared plus 4u, then plus 16. Then we have plus u plus 4, then plus 1. This is equal to 0. So u minus 4. So here we have u squared. 4u plus u, so this is 5u. Then we have 16 plus 4, this is 20 plus 1, this is 21. This is equal to 0. So here we have two parts. The first part is u minus 4, this is equal to 0. The second part here is u squared plus 5u plus 21, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that u is equal to 4. Now, the second part a is a quadratic equation, which has got the value of a equal to 1, b equal to 5, and that c is equal to 21. From this quadratic equation, we can determine the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4ac. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here. So that now, here we have 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 20, 21. So this is 5 squared, this is 25, minus 21 times 4, and this is equal to 84. So we have 84, 25 minus 84. And this is equal to minus 59. This is less than 0. So in this case, this implies we have two complex roots. And in this case, there is no new solution that can be obtained from this quadratic equation part. There is no real solution, no real solution from this quadratic equation part. So this quadratic equation is rejected is rejected because x from here x is a member of real numbers so let's proceed to u which is equal to 4 from here now if you recall we have seen that let x to the power of 1 over 30 be equal to u now we understand that let x to the power of 1 over 30 be equal to u. Given that u is equal to 4, this means that x to the power of 1 over 30, this is equal to 4. To solve for x here, we multiply both signs by 30. So this is 4 to the power of 30. So let's simplify 30 and 30 here, so that x now is equal to 4 to the power of 30. So this is the value of x. 
The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we assume that x to the power of 1 over 10 plus x to the power of 1 over 15 plus x to the power of 1 over 30. This is supposed to give us a value of 84. Now, let's substitute the value of x so that we have 4 to the power of 30 raised to the power of 1 over 10, then plus 4 to the power of 30, multiplying by 1 over 15, then plus 4 to the power of 30, multiplying by 1 over 30. This should give us a value of 84. Okay? So let's simplify here. That divided by 10, this is 3. So here we have 4 to the power of 3. Then plus a, we simplify again here. That divided by 15, this is equal to 2. So we have 4 squared, then plus that here simplifies, so plus 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 84. So 4 cubed, this is 64. Then plus 4 squared, this is 16. Then plus 4. This should give us a value of 84. So 64 plus 16, this is 80 plus 4, this is 84, which is equal to 84. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x here, which is 4 to the power of 30, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and country subscribe. Please like this video and country subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.